Hi, welcome once again to your favorite channel, Generous, Gracious and Gallant. I am your host, Dr. Moharem Ghosh and today I will stay, share with you two stories of kindness, generosity, graciousness from the Second World War. It was April 1944 and 12-year-old Fritz Winken was with his mother in the basement in Achen City when a bomb fell on their home and flattened their home. And the bakery which they had. Therefore, They were moved to a small village near the Rhine. When his father, who was a German soldier, came to know about this, he picked up his wife Elizabeth and 12-year-old Fritz and moved them to the Andres forest to a small hut where he planned to keep them between October and December of 1944. After moving them, to the, to the hut in the Andres forest Fritz's father went back to his unit where he was working as a baker it was Christmas Eve and young Fritz was sitting with his mother Elizabeth for Christmas dinner which consisted of potato soup and chicken fry. Suddenly there was a knock on the hut. His mother Elizabeth went and answered the door and she found that there were three GIs there from the 8th Infantry Division. One was stocky and dark haired, his name was Jim. Second was tall and slender and his name was Sergeant Ralph Blank and there was a third injured G GI whose name was Herbie. They requested for shelter for the night and Elizabeth's mother welcomed them into the home despite knowing that if the Germans found out about it and that she was harboring the enemy in her hut, she would be shot and her husband would be dismissed from service and he would too probably would be shot and young Fritz would be left an orphan. Despite this danger to her family, her mo Fritz's mother Elizabeth invited the three GIs inside and laid an extra table for them and cooked some more dinner so that she could make the three GIs comfortable. Fritz's mother and Fritz could not speak in English, so the GIs conversed with them in French and started taking dinner with the family. In these tense environments, suddenly there was another knock on the door. When Elizabeth's mother once again answered the door, she found four German soldiers outside. Now this was a potentially dangerous situation which would lead to bloodshed. But Elizabeth had a very strong personality and believed in kindness so she said I have guests at home and if you want to come in out of the icy cold you have to leave your weapons outside and she instructed the same to her American GIs the four German soldiers knowing that it was going to be bitterly cold and they too did not want it want to engage in bloodshed left their weapons outside and walked in. It was no easy situation. <laughs> it was a very tense situation with two enemies facing off each other, four Germans, three American soldiers. But Elizabeth had a strong personality and kept the small chatter going. 
One of the German soldiers had some medical training. He was a medical student before the war and he attended to Herbie. This brought calm down the situation slightly and slowly it moved from a potentially dangerous situation to a complete Christmas Eve where seven soldiers and little Fritz and his mother Elizabeth celebrated Christmas and sang Holy Night, Silent Night. The night of Christmas passed in fun and frolic as much can be expected during this war. Next morning, the German soldiers gave the American GIs a compass and showed, guided them the way back to their own lines. The German soldiers left the hut along with Fritz and his mother as they could no longer afford to stay there in the given circumstances and reunited with their father who, who was a baker in the German army. Years later, in 1958, young Fritz emigrated to the United States of America and settled in the island of Hawaii. He tried to find these seven soldiers and he was able to find Sergeant Ralph Blank who had since retired and now settled with his family. Sergeant Ralph Blank, daughter-in-law, cooked the same dinner for them, for young Fritz and Sar retired Sergeant Ralph Blank of potato soup and chicken fry on the reunion. Young Fritz and Sergeant Ralph Blank remained friends till Sergeant Ralph Blank passed away. It is an amazing story of kindness, graciousness, generosity and gallantness that seven soldiers from opposing army, three American GIs and four German soldiers spent Christmas Eve together in a remote Andres forest in a hut and were able to overcome the enmity for one short evening. They even celebrated Christmas together by singing Silent Night, Holy Night Carol together. And then young Fritz and Sergeant Ralph Blank got together in America in 1958 after the war. What a beautiful story of humanity in the midst of World War II. If you like my stories, please do press the like button and also subscribe to my channel so that we can together share these stories with multiple other people and spread the message of humanity, generosity, kindness among other people too. The second story I'm going to share with you today is of a sea battle between the HMS Glowworm and the German cruiser ship Admiral von Hipper. HMS Glowworm was a G-class destroyer with four four-inch guns and ten torpedoes, torpedoes in her armaments. The Admiral von Hippler was a cruiser with 14,000 ton displacement and with eight eight-inch guns armament. 
the hms glowworm was an escort escort to hms renown which was on mine in mine laying operations in the north sea while escorting hms renown a man fell overboard from hms glowworm and hms glowworm fell back to try and retrieve the man however the overman man could not the overboard man could not be found and captain of hms glowworm commander gerald broad meet rupe called out the search on the morning of april 8 1940 coming out of a frog suddenly he saw in front of him two german destroyers bernard von armin and hans ludmann he engaged them in battle fired shots at them and these two german destroyer drawers having sustained hits fled into the fog lieutenant commander gerald rupe followed them into the fog when he came out of the fog he noticed that he was in front of the cruiser ship admiral von hipper commanded by captain helmoth hey Admiral Hipper responding for the call of help from his two destroyer ships shot at HMS Glowworm with his 8 inch guns and HMS Glowworm sustained damage despite sustaining damage to a ship lieutenant commander Gerald continued engaging the much better armed cruiser admiral von hipper he fired five torpedoes at hms at admiral von hipper the german cruiser ship all the torpedoes missed again there was a reply from admiral von hipper with 20 cm guns and this time HMS Glowworm sustained major damage and all her armaments were also destroyed having no way out and knowing that he is going this could be his final battle lieutenant commander gerald rupe decided to ram the much bigger cruiser admiral von hipper commanded by captain hey when hms glowworm rammed into admiral von hipper cruiser ship she sustained massive damage leading to her sinking 109 people died that fateful morning of 8th april 1940 on hms glowworm including the captain of the ship lieutenant commander gerald broadmead rupe the cruiser ship german cruiser ship admiral von hipper also sustained damage but she could remain afloat captain helmoth hey of the german ship rescued 31 survivors and continued with his mission of dro- dropping german troops to norway he treated these prisoners of war sailors british sailors well and then returned back for repairs to his home base while at the home base captain helmoth hey much impressed by the bravery of the british com- lieutenant commander gerald broadmay rupee 
wrote to the British command, recommending Lieutenant Commander Gerald Broadmaid Rupee for his bravery and recommended Lieutenant Commander Rupee for the Victoria Cross, which is the highest possible wartime award which would be given by the British authorities. The British authorities accepted this recommendation by the German captain and awarded Lieutenant Com Com Commander Gerald Bradme Rupi Potmathusli the Victoria Cross for his supreme sacrifice and valor against the enemy in naval battle. While Lieutenant Commander Gerald Broadmaid Rupee will be remind will be remembered for his bravery, it is Captain, the German Captain Helmut Hey, who will be remembered for his gallant and gracious act of recommending an enemy captain for the highest award and rescuing 20, 31 sailors and treating them with the highest standards of decency and dropping them off safely to Norway where they were put into POW camps. These two instances go on to show us that despite what the situation outside is or surrounding you is, you can still set your old standards of behavior. The way you behave with others will be remembered for a long time. It was World War II. The w armies were killing each other and despite that we have two instances one of Christmas Eve and one of German capital, Captain Helmut Hey, who displayed the highest standards of generosity, kindness and gallantness despite the horrific circumstances outside. These men serve as gold standards or hallmarks for us in the coming generations of the standards of behavior that we need to follow in all, all our interactions with fellow human beings. If you like listening to my stories, please do subscribe to my channel Generous, Gracious and Gallant. Thank you till we meet an, again with another with another inspirational story on your favorite channel generous gracious and gallant good luck goodbye till we meet again thank you